Welcome back to the season two of Act Not Hot Issue. My name is Kendrick, and I am Patrick. That is right, Patrick. How are you doing? Well, I have been waiting for a hot issue to come back yeah. since December. This one month break is too long, man. Yeah, we've been we've been resting for one month, and very surprisingly, previously we have never hosted together. Yes. <laughs> now we're here on the same show. Wow. I mean, I'm glad I'm, to see I'm, you, brother. I'm, I'm very very excited <laughs> to host together with you, man. Exactly, and of course, uh. As we have come back, we uh, have included a lot of different campaign, different exciting news to share with you guys, and of course, a lot of prizes to be won as well. Yeah. Ah. So one by one, well, let's start with uh, what accomplishment that we have made. Accomplishment that we have made. Okay, we were up so proud to announce in uh, last year, end of twenty twenty, actually, mm. we were awarded the Malaysia Book of Record. Okay, as what the, we, as a what? As as the first. Uh, uh, community engagement mobile, mobile application. application. And I'm very humbled to say that I'm uh, very glad to be part of this huge thing. That is right, that is right. So we were awarded by Malaysia Board of Record and yes, we are so proud. Uh, that's why we have decided to come back even stronger on 2021 and bring more community issues to you guys and to ensure that we solve as many uh, as we can. Yes, right? that is correct. Alright. Oh wow, there are so many sharers already. Thank you, CS. Uh, oh, thank you, Jess. Alvin. Where's the handsome brother Melvin? Uh, Melvin, I keep out of the group already. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Alright. It's Nick. out of the group chat. <laughs> out of the group chat. <laughs> hi Nick. Uh, hi Che. Hi Che Jong. Wow. Nice hi. to meet you all again. Nice to meet you all again. Of course, uh, let's come back to uh, our giveaway actually we have mm. a lot of prizes to be given away yes uh, that's correct in the month of uh, January only right mm. okay what's the first one they can easily get uh, the prize so easy to get that is what is so, it so so easy that first campaign that we are doing is called the follow giveaway yes mm. and the name says just follow like and follow and now triple English Facebook page and screenshot it and you will have a chance to win away 1,000 Ringgit Ang Pao. Wow! Yes! 1,000 Ringgit Ang Pao cash. Yes! Wow! Cash! My Chinese is rich ready. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how do you do it? It's very simple, yeah? Like and follow Act Now uh, Trooper, which is English in bracket English. Alright, make sure you like and follow the page and screenshot your follow and go to the link that is provided in the post that we have in our page and paste your screenshot there and you're entitled for the lucky draw to bring back home 1000 ringgit ampau. So if you haven't followed yet, follow it right now. If your friends haven't followed yet, share it and have your friends to follow it. Right? Everyone right. should share the chance to win away free right. cash money, guys. Exactly. If you want to have higher chance, ask all your family members to join simply by sharing this uh, video right now because we have a lot of prizes to be given up during our talk show. And uh, most importantly, go and join our follow giveaway and win 1000 ringgit cash Ampau money to celebrate your Chinese mm. New Year. All right, and one thousand is not all. Let's move on to the second campaign. Exactly, and the second campaign. What do we have, Patrick? We have three ways for you to win away gifts and, of course, cash money as well. Wow. What are the three ways? First thing first. All right, the second campaign is called Watch and Win. Watch and Win. Okay. Yes, the watch, as it says, is about hot issue live talk show. This mm. is what you are watching right now. Alright, so the first way to win is called 
All right, let me the see. The watch right and here. wing giveaway. Watch and share, okay? Ah, watch and share giveaway. The first one is watch and share. Now, how do you do this watch and share? Very simple. Like you're watching right now, all you got to do is just share this post. And upon sharing, just hashtag in the comment below, guys. All right, in the mm. comment below, once you share it, hashtag act now and yes. that's right and uh, our production crew will be able to see you and we will put you into uh, the wheel of fortune right to put you into a wheel of fortune and you will be able to win uh, a prize a merchandise from act now at the end of this show and about right. the merchandise he's talking about is actually what i have with me the act now portable power bank ah. look the front is black the back is red, the color of Agnal, and the magic. Ta da! Ah. You, get, you get an Agnal logo right there. Can you see? Awesome. All right. So, we are giving away one of these uh, this show. All you have to do is just uh, share this video and afterwards hashtag uh, act out in the comment below. Like I see Alex Chan, all right? Alex Chan say, uh, share FB, FB live to World Tech 3 friends. Yes, and then you can put, I like this mm. show, hashtag act now, or you can just do hashtag, hashtag. act now. We're gonna make it really simple for you guys, all right? So after you are being chosen, at the end of the show, if you are the winner, you have to respond to us within two minutes. If not, we'll move on to the next winner, all right? Make it fair for everybody. Yeah, so okay. if you want to know how to do it, all right, it's pinned in the comment section. Just watch it. Uh, just see Alex Chan comment, all right? That and right. Uh, we have Sharon have a question, all right? Siti Fiza asks, why Malaysia Book of Records logo doing here? I yes. think she just came into the I think she one. just came in, all right. <laughs> so why, Siti, why the Malaysia Book of Records uh, logo is there is because end of last year we were awarded uh, by Malaysia Board of Record mm. yeah the first community mobile application in Malaysia and uh, from there we have the logo of Malaysia Book of Record <laughs> <laughs> that will be why <laughs> all right so that's uh, the yeah. first way we talk about it. Now we talk about the second way to win in the watch and win. Okay, the first one we had watch and share. Mm. What is the second way of winning and what is the prize this time? The prize this time is what you can see right here on my face, which is the face mask that we are wearing right now. It's super comfy and it's fashionable and it makes me look good. The fashionable <laughs> act now mask and this is limited edition, right? Yes, that yes. is correct. All right. So the second way to win is called watch and answer. All right? mm. Earlier today, 10 a.m., we actually posted a link on our page. Uh, there, there are three questions on it. All right? If you have read it, if you have not, go and find it right now and read these three questions because in this show, we are going to be reviewing the, answer the answers to, to the, the questions. questions. Okay, very simple. The link is available in our Facebook page. Click into the link, you will be able to see three questions and you'll find these three questions in this live show and after the show within one hour all you have to do is just submit your answer yes. and from there next week we will announce who is the lucky winner to bring back home a pair of these limited uh, fashionable face masks by act now and all the correct answers even though you don't win the face mask all right even though you don't win the face mask but if you answer correctly you stand a chance to go to a lucky draw for a grand prize at the end of January. Mm. The ah. grand prize, which is the third way for you to win. That's and right. the grand prize, why the word grand is there? Because the prize is... 3,000 ringgit cash ampa! Guys, 3,000 ringgit cash ampa! So if you haven't found the link, go ahead and find it right now, answer all the questions, and you are already entitled for a draw. Exactly. You already have a chance to win away this 3,000 ringgit cash ampa! If, if you answer correctly, or basically there are four weeks in January. If you answer any week correctly, with four set of questions, yes. right? If you answer just one set of questions, one of the week that you choose and you answer them correctly, you have a chance to win yourself 3,000 ringgit uh, cash unbound at the end of January. And it will be announced, the winner will be announced on the 9th of February 2021 uh, at the Act Trooper uh, Bracket Barca Malayu page at 9.30 p.m. Yeah, So uh, like later on, mm. we have a Malay show, yes. right? Speaking Malay. I'll it, be it there. Will, it will be <laughs> I won't be here because my Malay is not that good. <laughs> so I'll be there 
uh, exactly on the 9th of February, I will be there as well with my partner Shida. I uh, will announce the winner to the 3,000 ringgit uh, cash mm -hmm. unbound. Yes, that and if you, if, you, if you haven't followed Act Now Triple Malay, Bahasa Malaysia, you can go ahead and like it and follow it. And we also have a Chinese version of Facebook page of Act Now Triple as well. You can search it on Facebook. It's uh, very easy to find. All right, that is right. So, uh, with that being said, those are the prizes and uh, campaign the, during this January campaign. Those are the uh, contests that you can participate and win yourself either one thousand cash money, uh, three thousand cash unbound money, or you can win yourself a limited edition power bank or a pair of limited edition face masks. All right. So, for more information, do look into our Facebook page. We have the post posted there. Everything is there. Read up, mm. and from there, you stand a chance to win yourself some amazing prizes. All right. Without further ado, yep. let's start the first session. The first segment. The first segment. Tonight, right. That's right. The first segment of tonight. We're gonna be doing something slightly different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, before I move on to that, I see a comment there. The power bank. How many mAh? Ah, ah, that means you want to know how many times you can charge lah. Let me see ah. Let me show you. It's ten thousand mAh right here. If you can see, maybe you can see. Ten thousand mAh is uh, around. I think three four charges. Three to four charges yeah mm. for your phone. Okay, if let's say you're using a huge mAh uh phone, you can probably charge it for two to three times yeah. Mm. And yes, City Visa. There's someone uh, claiming himself the handsome boy. <laughs> I'm the one. I'm the one. Yeah, yeah. I'm he's, the handsome boy. He's, uh, he's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's move on to our yeah. first segment of the night, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be talking about something uh, slightly different than our first session, yes. first uh, season, actually. Today we're going to be revealing the 2020 top ten shocking, shocking issue. Jeng jeng jeng. Let's bring it up. The first one. The first one. All right, we have regarding cleanliness. All right, wow. This is a ticket where the house owner left the house unattended for a long period of time, and it has been uh, concerning the neighbor, uh, the neighborhood actually with dengue yes. breeding. This yes. is very very serious. By just looking at it, you can smell it already and you can tell <laughs> when you walk in there, you're going to get mosquito bite. That is for sure. Yes. So it's very serious and this is not the only mosquito breeding ticket we receive. So we put one up here as a representative that this is an ongoing serious issue. All right. Mm. Now let's move on to the top two. two. What is happening in All 2020? Right. Aha, I remember reported a lot of these cases in 2020. Yes. It's everywhere basically. <laughs> Malaysians are so rich, guys. <laughs> so the top two shocking issue that we didn't know before we started hosting this show, before we started doing act now, to be honest with you, there are so many abandoned vehicles across Malaysia. Yes, everywhere. And look at the photo right there. Alright, it is abandoned for I think around five, six years. More than that, I think. More than that, because you see, I think somebody make the vehicle their house. <laughs> house. Yeah, right? <laughs> now okay, Patrick, before we move on to the top three, right? Do you mm. know if let's say you don't want your vehicle anymore and you don't feel like selling it because of no value, where do you dispose it? Where do I dispose it? Mm. Normally I will just keep it. You just keep it. Yeah. And that is what happens. So when you want to keep it and you don't drive it and you left it by the road and this is what happens. Yeah. So yep, to all Malaysian, let's not waste um the space, let's not waste a vehicle, you know, do something about it. I'm sure all of you can do something about it rather than leaving it on the roadside yes. and causing inconvenience to the neighborhood. Yes, and right? if you want to leave it, leave it at your house and please Take care of it. It's your car. It's your wife. Right? That is right. And one very, very important thing we have to mention about this ticket. Mm. The number of it. Yes. What do we... What do we... Why, why do we need to mention this number? Well, well if you oh know, well. you know. Oh right? well. <laughs> if you know, you know. Alright, so the number of this ticket is MY0000454. Four. Very simple. It's right up on the screen in the photo. MY0000454. Remember this ticket, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. MY0000454. Three times already. <laughs> Make sure you remember, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I saw just so Emily Sim was saying, I like this show. Hashtag act now. Thank you so Thank you much. much. That is the right capture right there. Yes. And for those people who have shared, make sure you hashtag act now or you can write something at hashtag act now because mm. you send a chance to win back home a power bank uh, at the end of the show, right? Mm. City wanna buy 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 3D. 
<laughs> buy three <laughs> four five four yes yeah. go buy lottery <laughs> all right let's move on to top three, three. what is happening wow yes mm. endangering public safety this has happened a lot in 2020 despite covid 19 cases and of course that uh, people are being you know obligated to stay home to stay safe but there are so many problems happening outside regarding uh land the roads yes. the facts this and that you know uh endangering, endangering public safety is one of the top issue that we receive in 2020 for example like the lamp here mm. almost falling down what if somebody walks up uh, walk past yeah uh, at the bottom and just look at the height of this lamp Mm. And just look at the hanging lamp over there. <laughs> <laughs> when the wind blows, it's like, ee, ee, yes, ee, yes. Just know. imagine that scene in your head, and you will you you will smell the danger. That's right. And with the height, I believe, Patrick, if a car passes by and that thing falls in, uh, on the car, yes, it will damage the car and potentially damage or hurt uh, the driver inside or the passenger. Yes, right. so it is very, very serious. And of course, uh, once this report has been made, we highlighted it to the authority, mm. which are uh, Madi Pumbanaran Klang, they fix it uh, right after that. Okay. Yes, that's so, a very, very well done for Madi Pumbanaran Klang. Exactly. So to all of you, if you see any of these things happening, make sure you uh, use the Act Now app and take a photo and send to us. We will settle the rest for you. As simple as that. All right. All right. Now, let's move top on. Top four. Fourth ticket. This is right over at Taman Mida. Yeah. This is about illegal stores. Yes, that is correct. Illegal right. stores is everywhere. Actually. Everywhere. In 2020, we have received a lot, a lot of illegal stores as well. And mm. one case I remember very surprisingly is there is this store that we see it looks illegal, but when we actually ask and we we find out very surprisingly they have a legal license. Yes. On the side of the road. Uh, it's blocking up at, at the corner. That's, that's what right. Talking about right. So sometimes this store, illegal store, we're not sure whether it's illegal or legal. So what you have to do is check with the authority, or you can check with Act Now. We'll help you follow up. If it's really illegal, we'll make sure that um the authority are notified regarding mm. this. All right. We receive a lot of this kind of topic. Uh, tickets as well. All right. Let's move on to uh top five. All right. Fifth. Top five. Well, what do we have this trick? Uh. Just like the first mm. ticket, when you see this picture, mm. I feel itchy. Like there's itchy. mosquito <laughs> bite, you know. The itchiness is coming to <laughs> yes. you. But this is slightly different, Patrick. Yes. Because the contractor is the one not doing the job properly. Yes. Yeah. That is right. The business owners, those big guys out there that are responsible of all these things, they mm. should be responsible of composing it. Uh, uh, very responsibly exactly so we hope that all the companies and uh, all the private uh, companies out there doing contracting uh, contractor work make sure you guys uh, clean up uh, mm. your leftovers properly yes yeah. and of course now let's move on to your top six, six. Jang, Jang, Jang. and this one is the video that is happening now guess what is happening here patrick this is all right bukit bintang yes bukit bintang we That's can right. see pavilion over there mm. all right this is a very 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 dangerous situation exactly look at the passerby look look at the people there all right where are they walking they're mm -hmm. walking on the, the road. road the main road and this road yes. for us who live in kl we know that this road is extremely busy yes right especially in bukit bintang is Almost busy 24 hours a day. 24 hours, 24 7. Alright, so this uh, construction work happening at Star Hill has caused the pedestrian to uh, to be forced to walk on the road rather than having a proper pedestrian walkway. And this is a potential death that could be happening, uh, endangering public safety. So we hope that the local council who give permission and the uh, private company who does the construction mm. um, will manage this properly in the future and hope this kind of scene does not happen again because yes. prevention is better than Thank cure. You. All right, now top seven. seven. All right. Potholes, potholes, lubang, lubang. I, well, I'm not sure about you guys, if you drive, I'm sure that you have encountered at least 
20 mm. to 30 potholes in a year. Exactly, exactly. And of course, uh, recently potholes has become very famous due to our mm. uh, member of parliament, YB uh, KJ, Kairi uh, Jamaluddin, mm. has uh, fell out during a cycling session yeah. over a pothole. Yeah, uh, which yeah. we will bring out later. Yes, we will talk about show. it later on. So let's move on to the next one, top 8. Nah, this is, oh, this is also very dangerous. Yes. You see a very big hole there. Even you can fit in, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that fit. I can yeah. fit in there. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, this is also, you can see it everywhere, right? Especially mm. when you let park at Mamak at night, right? right? You can see these holes everywhere and it's not covered. That exactly. is the problem. Exactly. And it's dark. Is that and you know if you're walking at night, obviously this is a pedestrian walkway. Yes. If you um walk through it without noticing, you might fall into the drain and cause a very serious injury. You know, so this is one of the most serious uh ticket we have received in twenty twenty, and we hope that this doesn't happen again. If it does, please make sure you take a photo and send to us. We'll ensure that mm. the uh the drain will be covered in the future as soon as possible by local authority. Yes, right? that is correct. That's right. Now last two, top nine. What do we have here? Road safety. Alright, this is wow. happening in Sentul, as you can see from this high angle shot. Well honestly this is uh this is pretty concerning for drivers, for uh pedestrian or for even for you know the neighborhood around that because yes. there are a bunch of motorcycles, you know, in, in Malay is what we call Mark Rumpit, where they do racing or they hang out around there, you know, it's not safe. Alright, mm. uh for neighborhood and for the people around there. Okay, uh we have a comment here by Ling Xiu. Those parking at yellow lines also can take peek and report uh. Those parking at yellow line also can take... Yes, of course. You can report and people will report you also. La. That is right. <laughs> uh, I mean, you don't park at the yellow line. La. I mean, uh, Ling Siu, you can take a report or you can take a, take a photo and the authority will go there and check if it's true. And if it's true, uh, they will definitely issue a summon. Yeah? Mm. So the answer is yes, you can do that. Mm. Um, and as uh, Chan asks, can, can report, report people kiss kissing in car while driving? <laughs> <laughs> Alex... Please don't kiss in the car. <laughs> but of course, uh, you know, this is uh, doing a public affection like that yes. is not recommended. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if you really do see, you know, uh, don't don't post it to act now. Okay, don't don't <laughs> don't disturb them. <laughs> this yeah. is my personal opinion. <laughs> because you do that. I don't I, do that. I, I don't I, do that. I, I, I feel I, like I, people's privacy <laughs> needs to be respected. Yes, 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 yes. I mean kissing is okay because it's a show of uh, affection or show of love, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't go more than that, please. <laughs> <laughs> Alright? Okay. okay. Now Fabian Tam. Why Taman T M N? Taman portal holes. Out oh. of JKR jurisdiction, under the jurisdiction of local council and MPK. After the report, how long it take to fix it? Exactly. Okay, Fabian. Fabian is a very uh, uh very loyal a, fan, loyal fan of, of, of uh, a hot issue as a friend Agnal. of uh, Melvin as well. Yes. So Fabian, yes, we will highlight this issue later on in uh, our third segment. Yeah. So do stay tuned. We'll highlight the this issue later on. Yeah. Mm. Now let's move on to top ten. The last uh surprising facts. All Shocking right. issue that we have in 2020. So, look at this video. Ooh, I okay. have, I'm having goosebumps over this, man. This is happening in Seremban, alright? So, wow, who is supposed to collect these things? It's supposed to be by the local council, right? Yeah, I think so. I yeah. think so. I think we have, we have people who are responsible for this, but Look at this, how long has it been left there? And look at these worms crawling around. Oh, I cannot look at it. Oh like. my goodness, all right. So if you guys do see this, uh, you know, um, on the road, because it's definitely not good for uh, public health, you can take a photo and send to us as well. And yes, this is one of the most disgusting garbage category that uh, ticket that we have. Yes. That's why we presented it here. Uh, but of course, we have a lot of other garbage um, Tickets that we have received in 2020 as well, a lot of them, yeah? Yes. So if you do see such a scenario, do take a photo in 2021, right? Let's clean up uh, the place and make a better Malaysia. Yes, exactly. so we have covered uh, 10 shocking issues. Yes. Actually, there are much more shocking issues that you can find on the Act Now app. That we will talk right. about the app later exactly. after the break. Yes, so let's have a break at the moment before we move on to our second segment later on. All right, see you.
Welcome back. All right, and for those uh, viewers that have just come in today, we have a very special episode. A lot of prizes still be given out, mm. and of course, do share this video and uh, download Act Now because we have just covered top ten shopping issues earlier. Yes, that right. is correct. And yep. moving on, yep. we're gonna have uh, what we call Once Upon a Time. That's right. All right, and so we'll be talking about uh, stories and stuff. And before that, all right, we will have an Act Now Angel. All right, explaining about the Act Now app. That's right. The name of this Act Now Angel is Rosalina. Rosalina has been with Act Now for some time now, mm -hmm. and she is here to give out a little bit, a uh, little tips about how to use the Act Now application. Let's watch the video. Uh, okay. Hello everyone, I'm Rosalina from ActNow. I'm here to assist you to make a report, how to make a report to ActNow. Okay, I'm giving you some tips. Okay, uh, let's say for example, you've seen an abandoned vehicle. Okay, what you need to do is uh, look at the condition of the vehicle. If it's in a debilitated stages, of course you can categorize it as abandoned vehicle. But if it's in a good condition, uh, we need to see the road tax. So you take a picture of the road tax and the plate number and of course the location which is we need the landmarks nearby so that uh, we know the exact location. So it's, it will help us to assist you to make a report to the authorities. So I hope this helps and have a good day. Bye bye. All right. All right. Hello everyone. Yeah. So that's how simple it is to make a report on abandoned vehicles, which mm. you can really see everywhere. You know, just use the app, mm. right? As what Rosalina has already given us, um, the step by step, very very simple. Okay, and uh, the name of the Agna Angel mm. who just mentioned it, mm. right, who contributed to us by uh, she demonstrating how to report on abandoned car. Her name is. Roslina, right? Ah, uh, so you know, I know, you know, I know. He knows, I know. Ah, yeah. so the name is Roslina. Yeah, guys. So make sure you don't mix up on her name. Now, the third, uh, the second segment that we have is once upon a time. Yes, once upon a time. Basically, is uh, yes, it's story time, guys. Story time. All right. So we'll be covering uh, a very interesting story that happened just recently. Yeah. Yeah. So let's put up the first article and see what we have got here. Uh, Kyrie injured in fall while, while cycling. cycling. This is what I mentioned earlier, right? Yes. Now, what do we know about this, Patrick? All right. Uh, basically, Kyrie is uh, YB. All right. Yeah, he, he's he, the he, minister of science, minister of science, right. uh, technology and innovation minister. Kyrie Jamaluddin. He injured his face. You can see from the picture over there, and he's, he yeah. posted a tweet on his Twitter. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Saying that this incident is real. It's happened because. Of the potholes we see day to day exactly and this happened in Bante uh, you know uh, when he was cycling and once he fell down he he bruised his face yeah I mean um, we are very thankful that um, YB didn't injure himself more than yes. that you know and luckily he's safe but we have more depressing story to bring on yes right because right after this uh, what we what we see from the news is that um the work department apologizes so that brings us to a second, second article. article all right the work department apologizes after the portal causes minister cycling mission and of course uh, this this is very very special to me as well because i've come across portal um issue for a very long time yes but like what the article that we're going to cover later the reporter mentioned mm. we have never seen any local authority or even the works uh, minister actually apologizes, apologizes yeah to when anyone else when falls exactly happen. and uh, i think i have to bring up one thing mm. as a normal malaysian citizen when you can see potholes everywhere but all we do is that when we drive by and we say Aya! just like that and then yeah. we complain why potholes everywhere where people never do work exactly right? That is uh, one thing, all right. Uh, so this is just a slight injury. Right? Mm. We have more serious to come. So I think we all should take potholes this issue very, very seriously. Exactly. And of course, uh, even before uh, YBKJ actually fell down and the work department actually apologizes to him because uh, he's uh, one of the VIP, of course, we all know, right? Mm. But uh, actually, on November 7th, you know, this brings us to the next article. Okay, let's move on to the third, third article. article. 
On the 7th November, a corporal uh, from uh, Royal Malaysian Air Force actually died on the spot. Yes. What um, happened was, it's a rainy morning. Right? When it rains and the pothole is filled with water mm. and it became invisible. You cannot see them exactly. very, very clearly. Exactly. What happened was, he was driving his motorcycle and he come across this pothole. He fell and a lorry, a lorry just ran across him. Just ran across him and he died on the spot. And this actually happened on November 7, even yes. before uh, YBKJ fell down uh, during a cyclist session. Yeah? Mm. And uh, 28 years old, um, Muhammad Huzaini uh, fell out and died like that. And of course, we have uh, many more accidents that happened afterwards. But yeah. one thing that I would like to, like I mentioned earlier, one mm. thing that I would like to pinpoint here is that this reporter by this article actually About mentioned free free Malaysia today. Yes. So he said, you know, he cannot recall. He has written so many reports, um, and uh, regarding the uh, road defects as well as potholes. Uh, he said he has never recorded the local authority or the JKR, the Works Ministry, uh, apologizes to the public. Mm. It has never happened before. All right. Quote. Mm. Let's quote from him. All right. His exact word. I cannot recall even one incident of JKR or any local authorities responsible for road maintenance mm. having apologized, let alone take responsibility for such incidents. Yes, and uh, it's very depressing to yes. know that you know this because we, YB, uh, YBKJ is a, a VIP, VIP, and uh, he he received an apology from a work minister, a work ministry. But uh, how come all this uh, public? Uh, normal people yeah and he is from the air force he, he's from the air force yeah even he doesn't get any apologies uh and i think this is very depressing to know that this is how malaysia has uh, become mm. and we hope that i now i now hope that this will change mm. in the future yes okay and, and this brings us to the statistic that mm. we have got right here now how many percentage um, actually happens uh, by this study uh, through road accidents, Patrick. How many percent is uh, happening because of road accidents? Uh, road accidents happen because of road defects, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> actually, there are a total of 11.25% of traffic death road accidents is because of road, road defects. defects. Yes. So all of uh, 100%, 11% uh, is because of road defects. Mm. And how do you split up this 11%? What are the cause of uh, your so-called road defects? What does it mean by road defects? All right, road, de road defects uh, includes a lot of things. Okay. Like uh, lack of street light provision, like uh, potholes, right? Potholes actually contribute 15.4% mm. to this statistic. Mm. So now you see the seriousness of potholes. Yeah. Right? Okay. So 15.4% you mentioned, right? Yes, that is correct. 15.4% of the 11.25% out of whole Malaysia. Mm. Well, try to guess what's the number. Oh. I also oh, don't know what's the number because the calculation is too complicated. There are so many people. Yeah. My math is not good, lah, basically. <laughs> la. <laughs> Obviously, my mathematics is not good. La. And, so, and 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 all this 11.25% mm. actually can be easily avoided. Yes. How do we avoid it? Basically, you report to the right authorities. That's authorities right. take action. Fix the problem. Mm. Root defects didn't happen anymore. 11.25% mm. gone. gone. And with that being said, we save a lot of life, you know. And of course, this brings us to um, zero pothole policy that happened in mm. 2016 to 2018. And uh, this is the next article, right? Let's right. put up the next article for them to see. This zero pothole policy actually uh, was implemented 2016 to 2018. Mm. And it was re-implemented on uh, 2019 July, 2020 July, oh, sorry, 2020 July. July. It was re-implemented and uh, YBKJ uh, fell down because of pothole on the December of 2020, right? So, now when it when things became even more famous, infamous, mm. I would say, they have promised to fix a pothole within 24, 24 hours. hours. Remember this 24 hours promised by JKR, our work ministry. That is right. But of course, there's a requirement to these 24 hours. Um City Visa said hot holes. <laughs> it's my uh, Malaysian English slang. Hot holes, yeah. Hot, hot holes. Hot holes. Yeah, all hot right. holes. The road holes you see everywhere, right? Like that one over there. <laughs> it's yeah. potholes, alright? And uh, 
Come, coming back to the article, 24 hours hap, uh, will happen if the pothole size is 200 mm. Mm. Okay, if below 200 mm, it can be filled up almost immediately. If it's 200 mm, takes 24 hours or three days for a full repair, mm. a long lasting repair. And uh, 200 to 1000 mm, it will take a longer time. Mm. If it's more than 1000, it will be considered as road defect <laughs> and it will take even longer time to fix it. Mm. So yes, there's uh, uh, rules and regulation, but of course within 24 hours, a lot of holes <laughs> can be fixed. All right, uh, Nick and uh, City uh, commented, Nick said, I think they can fix the potholes in the week. It's good, good enough. enough la. La. <laughs> Don't over promise. <laughs> 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 well, you know, it's, it's true because that's why they put the rules and regulation there. You know, if it's too big, it will take longer time. Mm. But you know, they put up 24 hours there to make a promise to, uh, to a pothole that is about 200 mm. La. Yes. Okay. And uh, City Visa said 24 hours or 24 years. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try to recall if I have seen the same pothole for the last 24 years. Maybe yeah. it's possible. <laughs> Maybe it's possible. Okay. Anyway, so, I yeah. think it's a very good effort Definitely. That, that they promised 24 hours, right? Yeah. That give us something to uh, look up to. They give us something to expect. Yeah. And act now, and everyone with the act now app is watching JKR right now. That is right. And everyone who is in act now potholes challenge yep. is watching JKR right now. That is right. <laughs> and uh, Kairunisa said, now have to carry measurement tape in the car. <laughs> 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 oh well, if you want to do so, you can. Uh, but be safe, yeah, be safe. Don't suddenly stop in the middle of road, go down and start taping, you know. How big is this MM? How many MM is this? All right, let's not try to do that. And of course, we have two more stories to bring up to you. Two mm. more articles that happened just two days ago and yesterday. Yes. What happened? Let's bring up the next article for them to view. All right. Next All right. article. That happened on 3rd January, two days, 5th, two days yes, ago. Yes, two days ago. A 75-year-old elderly man dies after falling off motorcycle due to pothole. And this is not just that. Right after, a day after this elderly man uh, poorly you know, died on the spot, yes, we, have, we the, have the next article. The next article, a Grab Rider. Next okay. article. The Grab Rider actually died mm. on the spot on the next day, which is yesterday as well. Yes, yes. It's, it just happened yesterday. All right? Exactly. Road death due to pothole. This is a Grab driver. All right. Well, I mean, it's uh, quite it's depressing. Yeah. It's very depressing, you know, because Grab driver, you know, they are um, they are there to earn a living. Yeah, you know, a lot of people result to become a Grab rider because they couldn't make a living due to the poor economy in twenty twenty, and because of the road defect, they are you know they pass away, um, killed on the spot because of the road defect, and this is very depressing. So we hope that JKR, the World Minister, will actually do something about this as soon as possible. Yes. With that being said, we would like to support this effort of 24 hours and we call it the Act Now Pothole, Pothole Challenge. Challenge. Right. That is right. Act Now is uh, strongly supporting JKR effort by pro uh, of their promise to fill and fix potholes within 24 hours, right? That this is, is right. the Act Now Potholes Challenge. How do you join the challenge? Very, very simple. Download the Act Now app That's right. from uh, Google Play Store, Apple App Store. Yeah, and mm. once you have done so, if you see any potholes um, uh, on the road, all you have to do is take a photo with the app. On the title, just hashtag Act Now, now Potholes. potholes. Alright, act now potholes. Okay, so as simple as that, put it as starter. We will highlight it to the local authority or to JKR as soon as possible to ensure they fill the promise to uh, fill up the pothole by 24 hours. As simple as that. Alright, is there anything to add on to this challenge? Uh, very, very simple. Very simple right? Right? This app is actually very simple to use. Take a photo, alright, description, alright, and just submit. And that the app now right. will take over the action and report to JKR or relevant departments. That is right. That being said, action. make sure you download the Act Now app if you haven't, because we we will be the eyes of community to ensure yes. that the road, uh, the neighborhood, the community is a very safe place mm. for you to live. Mm. We would like to play a part, but we need you to play a part as well. Yes. To be the eyes of communities. Yeah. And I'm sure that if you drive in Malaysia, you will encounter one or two potholes. And I hope that you know how dangerous potholes actually are. Exactly. I mean, I have encountered potholes before. Yes. Uh, and you know, 
Luckily, I'm okay, fortunately. Yeah. But I feel like my car damaged a lot. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my go-to... Oh, to, 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 to. And then, just happened, there's a workshop right in front. Right, <laughs> right in front of there, right? There, the park there. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, do ch- uh, join the pothole challenge. Hashtag at now potholes on the application. Now, we have come to the point to reveal who could be the winner of... Um, the power watch and bank. win. Yes. Watch and win. Yeah. And before that, we have a comment here. Actually, how many people died by pothole accident? Okay. To city, we actually have the statistic here, but we don't have mm. the exact, exact number. And uh, if we found out the exact number, we'll definitely post it up on our Facebook page. Mm. So do follow our Facebook page for more um, trendy Update, updates. Yeah. You know, trendy updates. I'll call it <laughs> uh, recent updates to see what's happening around the communities. You can search for the Facebook for uh, English, uh, Malay, Chinese, or Tamil. With four different pages mm. depending on your your main language. Yeah. All right. City so Fiza hashtag at now potholes challenge. Yes, that is correct. You just hashtag at now potholes on your report That's on right. the now app. That's right. All right. As your title and just give a brief description. All right. Some photos and uh, short videos. All right. Yes. So if you want to include the challenge, feel free to do so. Otherwise, to make it simpler, just hashtag at now potholes. Okay. Call it the at now potholes. We'll take care of it. Mm. All right. Now, are we ready with the Wheel of Fortune? We are ready to go and let's see who All is right. the lucky winner. Yeah. Just bring up the Wheel of Fortune this time. All right. And uh, the winner of this beautiful, elegant, Power bank 10,000 mAh. Wow, you're doing a promoter job now. <laughs> Goes to. Jin Jin Jin, let's spin it. 3, 2, 1. Alvin, Alvin Lee. Lee. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, so Alvin, so make sure you uh, PM us within two minutes. All right, Alvin, if you are here watching the show, all you have to do is comment, comment. comment first. Mm. Say that I'm here. And then after that, you have to PM our page. Once you PM our page, mm. within two minutes, you will get yourself a brand new Act Now Power Bank. Yes, and yeah. for the fair of this thing, all right, just in case Alvin Lee is not here, <laughs> we'll wait for two minutes. All right, if Alvin didn't respond on the comment session and we didn't receive any PM, we'll go on to respin this wheel of fortune. So if your name is there, you still have a chance to win. Mm. Make sure you say right here. Okay, so while waiting for two minutes, okay, Patrick, how do you feel after coming back to your hot issue, uh, the first episode? What are your appreciation with? Wow, well, I know. I mean, the first thing I feel is hot. <laughs> looking because at hot all issue. These, yeah, <laughs> looking at all these uh, um, 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 issues, 2013 top ten issues, and all the news just yesterday and the day before. Uh, I'm sure that if you are watching uh, and if you heard about it, you feel hot as well. If you know what I mean, yeah. are, you, are you hot? I'm very hot. I'm very, <laughs> you know, very bananas now <laughs> because the pothole, pothole really caused a lot of issue and uh, very saddening to see such news happening. An elderly mm. man, um, even the corporal, uh, the air force, even a normal grab rider, they are all affected. And yes. uh, died on the spot just because of potholes. Yes, and we encounter potholes every day. <laughs> okay, okay, and now we we can draw for the second one because uh, Alvin Lee did not respond. Uh, respond. So let's uh, draw for the second winner. All right, all right. Let's go. Kairunisa <laughs> Abdul Rama. Congratulations. Kairunisa, if you're here, make sure you comment right now. Let us know that you are present. And uh, please message us within two minutes. Uh, message the page, yeah? And from mm. there, you will get yourself a brand new power bank. Are you here, Kairunisa? Kairunisa. Yes. If Kairunisa does not respond, mm. all right, do we draw one more time? Do we draw one more time? No. No more. All right. No so more. that we will only draw two times. If Karunisa is not here, we will bring this prize to next week to draw again. All right. Yes. Because we are running out of time. Oh, yes. Karunisa Abdul Rahman is He's here. here. Ah. Congratulations. Congratulations. You got us our power bank. Ta-da-da-da. This one is yours. 10,000 mAh power bank exclusively. That from is right. Agna. Agna. Okay. So, Karunisa, make sure you PM. Uh, act now, all right. PM act now, okay. 
And uh, Elvin Lee, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> LOL, you are too late, bro. You are too late. You are too late, all right? So, Elvin, Elvin we have waited for two minutes. And uh, unfortunately, mm. you didn't message us. So, the opportunity has given to Karunisa. Yeah. So, congratulations, Karunisa, once again. Do message us as soon as possible. You will get yourself a power bank. If you don't, we'll bring it forward to the next trip. All right. all right so that is the end of this show we are very happy to be back we'll see you next week at the same time on the same day yeah and uh, of course before that do you have any questions yes all right if any questions about you know uh some issues around the community or uh, what can be reported and whatnot all right uh, please uh go on to uh comment that is the, you can the, comment the, us the live show and talking about question i was i'm reminded of the uh watch, watch and answer. answer ah yes 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 yes, yes, yes the yes. watch and answer remember yeah we have given all these uh all the answers in this show so make sure within one hour right after the end of this live show you answer it and submit your answer to us and from there mm. you will be entitled to either win yourself a pair of face masks and if you answer correctly, you'll be entitled for a grand prize lucky, lucky draw, draw, which is up to 3,000 ringgit okay. cash um, bar. All right? Okay. Okay. So the questions. First one is on the screen. In the 2020 top 10 shocking no, I issue. Think, I think they, they know how to read. And of course, the answer, the link is already in our Facebook page. Right. We are running out of time. So it's displayed here. Do go to our uh, post, click into a link start answering and submit to us you could be the winner yeah. all right so that that is the end of the show i would like to say goodbye now we'll see you next week at the same time uh on the same day tuesday and for more entertaining but very saddening community issue all right so goodbye goodbye see you next week <laughs>